So this is the one you go to buildasoil.com, you can just print it out. But what I'm looking for is we're now in the vegetative phase and we're on, uh, we want to be at 18 hours of light on. For auto flowers, I like to do 20 hours. So that's what we're going to do. That's the only real difference. You could do 18, be fine. You could do 24. But with autos, those are slightly different. So we're running 20 hours of light and um, four hours of off time. The PPFD in that range is going to be slightly different, right? Because it says on here three to 600 and we're on for two more hours than it says. So I could be slightly to the lower end of that. However, the node spacing on here is nice. It seems like the light is pretty good, but I think it can use more. I'm seeing the size they're at right now and I think they could just be pumped. So I'm going to read the PPFD with my PAR meter um, and I'm going to give you guys a number on it and then we're going to adjust the light by dropping it down. That way I can make sure we're really taking advantage of all the growth opportunity and following the chart. That's something that the controller can't do. What it can do is if you do place it lower, you can dim it on here. But you know, beyond max output, max output is max output. And this height is pretty good to just let the plant grow into it. My guess is we're at 250 to 300 right here um, based on our last observation, which means I could just leave it, but I'm gonna drop it to make it a little more potent since these autoflowers are raging. It looks like they want everything. And so I'm gonna give it to them and that's part of customizing every grow. Part of our conversation today is, although AI is something that can work, I believe I saw some shortcomings that I'd like to explain based on my environment. And so one of the things I'd like to teach here is that if you understand these fundamental principles, you become independent and you're no longer saying, well, I can't grow without this.